when I was diagnosed 20 something years ago, they were not advocating for exercise. We were told don't get overheated, don't get the core body too uh, hot, hot and tired. And because you might throw yourself into an exacerbation. Now, of course, the sky's the limit with exercise. But often patients are still worried that that too much exercise or getting overheated can cause a problem for their MS. What's the solution for that person? What can they do? Other if if they didn't have a pool, I agree, a pool is the best. Oh, yeah. um, most people do have troubles with overheating. I I bet I meet maybe five percent of the population with MS that heat does not bother them or. I recently met someone who loves it hot and humid. I was like, whoa, it wipes me out and I don't have MS. But yeah, that you really have to be cautious to work within the parameters of overheating yourself. And working out, you're raising your body temperature. So we tell people real common sense tricks such as uh, wearing a cooling vest. It's, it's like a very, very, very thin vest that can have cool water going through it at all times that you can do a lot and keep your core body temperature down. You can use um, just plain old cool towels around your neck or people have seen those um, heating um, neck rolls that you stick in the microwave and keep them around your neck if you have some arthritis or you're chilled. Uh, they also have those like cooling packs that you can keep around your neck, especially because you're getting good blood flow, hopefully through your um, various arteries um, in the neck, and that can help keep the core body temperature down also. If you live in Arizona, or I mean, I live in Pittsburgh, even Pittsburgh in the summer, I try and avoid the heat of the day for doing activities. Get out while it's early, work out in a really cool atmosphere, you know, crank up your air conditioning, go to a Y that, you know, is, you know, they're, they're paying the bill when you need it really cool. Um, keeping yourself hydrated, cool liquid, uh, mostly water, you know, people, people drink these Gatorade drinks and again, nothing against Gatorade, but, um, you know, unless you are an NFL player on the NBA in the finals, you are usually not sweating out so much that you need to douse yourself with the drinks uh, for the electrolytes and such. And they're usually pretty high in sugar, pretty high in calories. So plain old water, flat water, don't get the bubbly stuff. That's going to give you some indigestion and have you burping on the, you know, the stationary bike or whatever. Um, so there's, you know, again, there's just a lot of common sense tricks of the trade to keep yourself cool.